this is a 30 minute 20 second uh, game so just bringing the knight out just hitting the pawn like we do and just grabbing like we do just take so when you're happy with a opening type of pattern you can move a little bit swifter I've got to double check that the opponent is definitely doing the movements that I'm comfortable with rather than just looking at my own pieces and going oh yeah I'm, the pattern looks good for me but then looking at the opponents and they're not actually in the position I'm used to bring the queen back so it's oh, out of all of the games that we played especially in the recent over the board ones because those are what I've got to pay a lot of attention to because really I'm going for the over the board competition I'm not going to play online I'm going to play over the board and looking at those games there um, as, I, as I mentioned my chess health feels really good and it's just a matter of really keeping things as simple and straightforward as I can now I'm going to put a check on the king because I naturally would do that but you know the laws of chess say don't move that same piece twice you've moved it once already but it does have a check on the king the king either has to move or he has to bring a piece back so I'm giving them something to think about I class this as my bad bishop because it's my king side bishop others may go oh you're talking a lot of twaddle but you know uh, nine times out of ten if I'm doing the openings that I do you know with my e4 that's a bad bishop because it doesn't have any play in the game right let's get king safety and get castled so like they're moving their queen twice putting pressure on the pawn here diagonal here but simply defended rook facing through to the queen and to the king it's probably more dangerous for them but we don't have many pieces out at the minute they're moving the queen again looking to target the b-pawn wow we should be able to do something with this let's hit this queen with the pawn smaller piece attacking higher piece can't be wrong and there's no rush like in the over the ball games i wasn't rushing the only game i rushed in was the one where i'd made the egregious area er, error didn't look at the calculation and basically i would have lost my queen so it's touch move so you, you have to wear it the bishop couldn't go anywhere else because there was a check on my king from their knight so really just take time and i wasn't interested in the time factor you know um losing on time or anything like that i was looking at the quality of my games i was treating them like a like a long play game so my health check in terms of development on the board felt fairly okay for the majority of the games which is pleasing to know queens move back and do we win any tempo at all probably expecting us to go and hit it again and it comes and sits here could develop the knight let's get the knight out Attacking our queen, the queen is supporting the pawn. Can't attack because their knight is there. Could hit their queen. Takes, we take, he takes, we take, but then he gets that back. So we're not gonna go fancy. Be nice to probably swing the queen across, but then it doubles the pawns because the queen will take. Could go opposite the queen with a diagonal. Could go here and where's his knight wanted to go or oh, we could go here attacking here which one do we really want to go for i think going opposite their queen looks right it looks right maybe not that just yet
Knights come down attacking the Queen. Um, I mean, ideally, they'd want to get their Queen here to start putting pressure on here. So we could just bring the Queen here and attack the Knight. Let's do that. Rook's coming in, he's sorting out something. Is he doing a Rook Rover? Coming here, here. Can we put any pressure on? That's where Bishop looks a bit trapped, doesn't it? Could bring it out, Knight takes, Queen takes. If the Cook doesn't take, we can take the Pawn. And bringing the Bishop out. If he takes, we take with the Queen, simple. Or we could take with the rook to double the rooks. Yeah, so the weaker piece is opposite the rook, their uh, queen. Although rooks don't have any place in the center of the board, really, do they? Queen can come here and still attack this pawn. Yeah, let's do that. So we can take the pawn with the queen. So if there's any shenanigans, we can get their queen off the board. This is like one of those, um, that one game. Oh, you are, hmm? what's that? Oof, I thought they had it then. Well, they have, they've got my queen. <laughs> I've got their queen. I've got their queen. Yeah, just gonna say this was that like that terrible game that I had where I got my queen trapped. Now this looks, we're plus one out of all of that. Can we do anything? Is he gonna go for a trade? We're plus one, you want, oh yes, let's go. So we're gonna try and hit these pawns here in the middle. And uh, maybe just push this up like this. And then we've got poor majority on this side. So I think it's advisable to push these pawns up. Yeah, that was just like that game where I fluffed up. But it was reversed. So we got the queen back. And we could push up rather than take. We could push up, but I think, yeah, because these can't save this pawn now can we don't need to do anything there so we can just push let's capture oh why did i push that one let's go there yeah got to concentrate so it's not getting that pawn so we might as well go and get a queen he's got plenty of space to move they should resign really now, shouldn't they? Yes, okay, I'm going to go back and look at the analysis on that one because it got very scary. I just want to check the health of the situation. Right, okay, let's see what the computer thinks of it all. But firstly, I've got to be happy with it if the computer's not happy, but I feel like it was half decently a natural manoeuvre which seem to work, then we can challenge. So captured, captured. So there's no problems with the capturing actually, and actually moving the bishop. Did it just drop 0.1 or something? 
So that's what we're coming back to. From there. Yeah, 0.1 it dropped. But that's nothing major. Because we explained why we could do that bishop maneuver. Now this is where it can get sketchy. Let's see. Yeah, they're moving the queen quite a lot of times, but we didn't take advantage of it. Doesn't like that pawn move. Queen b5 with a check. Oh, check and get a pawn. Interesting times. Didn't see that. Didn't even look that way, did we? We're focused on this. Ah, just follow the track. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Got to open the. Spread my vision. Spread my vision. Okay, good touch. All right, yeah. So we went with tried and tested, which is, you know, attacking with the pawn. Started developing the knights. Just have a look, see if there's any major tips. Whoa, what happened there? Press the wrong button. Yeah, okay. Right up. 1.6, 1 1.7. Doesn't like that, but it's not a major drop, so I'm sh I'm sticking with that. Plus three. I don't know if we got a plus three move. Interesting. Not bad. Not bad. Rook move coming in. It's a plus five at the minute. I don't think we did a plus five at all. No. We did bishop move. It's saying queen again. So you know, too many queen moves. It's wanting to bring the queen back here. In fact, no. F5. No, where's F5? Boom, 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 boom. But it's wanting to attack the queen. Hmm, smaller piece, second higher piece. It's also blocking so we'd get the knight. Oh, juicy. Damn. Didn't see it like that, did I? Now what does he do? <laughs> nice one. Spread the vision. Okay. Wanted to get the bishop off the bat, get it into the game, attacking the pawn in the corner. Takes, takes. And looking just to grab a pawn with the queen, which is not healthy. But it felt okay, didn't feel like it was too dangerous, but this is what I want to check to see if it was advantageous. We grabbed, because our rook is facing their queen like it was against, you know, in the over the board game against me. And I miscalculated and brought my bishop and then obviously my queen was going to be taken. Bishop comes down. It's got the support of the rook. So in essence, that, you know, it's not the best manoeuvre that we've made taking the pawn. I think it probably would have been better just taking this pawn here. That's less arty, isn't it? Yeah, it's more straightforward. But in the back of my head, I'm thinking, oh, yeah, we, our rook is facing their queen, so we can move this out of the way. And then if there's any activity going on, if the pawn takes, the rook takes. So that's all I was thinking, but that's way too fancy because they've got this intermission. Yeah, stay away from those, dude. Stay away from them. Just play simple chess. Crikey. All right, so draw at the minute in time. Saying it didn't, didn't have to take. So the queen taking equalizes the situation does it no it makes it better for them really they've got two rooks it's got a check so it's saying d7 and then it's just starting doing king moves up here so really i mean they've got two rooks against a knight and a rook they're down a few pawns so it's anybody's game. Well, it's saying it's a draw. Hmm, yeah. 
definitely stay away from that i think really keeping it simple just taking the pawn here i think that would have been better that would have been better than the take take it's more straightforward simple clean looking yeah nice one